Hello, welcome to uh, Air Rifle Testing. Finally, uh, able to get out and uh, shoot the uh, Snow Peak M60B today. Uh, the clouds coming in now, it looks like it's going to rain again for another week or so, so I'm glad I'm able to get out. But anyway, um, let's show you again, here it is. Snow Peak M60B, I got the PAR 008 razor lane shiner on here and uh, I was able to do some uh, crony tests and I use four types of uh, pellets so I started out with the uh, AR arm 18 grain and then the JSB 18 grain then follow with the Hades 16 grain and the AR arm 16 grain so out of these four the Hades Surprisingly, did the best. Um, actually, not surprised because Wes of Airgun Archery Fun already told me that Hades was uh, shooting well from one of his uh, um, customers. So, what did I find today? Well, the 18 grain wasn't shooting uh, too good. I started with 30 yards uh, range and it's kind of like a big group probably like inch, inch and a quarter, maybe. So, that's not good, at least not in my book, for 30 yards anyway. Then I switch it to the Haiti 16 grain, which is the top one. You can see that's one rugged group. That's 10 shot. So that's so promising. The below here, that's the uh, air arm 16 grain. So the Hades was running at 956 feet per second. That's about 32.2 feet per uh, foot pound. So tons of energy there. So I continued to um, focus on the Hades 16 grain. Basically shot a whole bunch of groups at 30 yards and then I uh, gradually increased to 35, 40, 45, 50. I'll show you the 50 yards group. The one I just did just now. So that right there that's five shot group and that's uh less than an inch so i'm very very happy with it this is in the wind i had to um hold for hell for wind and uh able to um did my hold over at the 50 yards which is a uh, one mil dot and i was able to hit five shots in that that target so i'm very, very happy i recorded with the par 008 so i will um, edit that video and let you guys see okay so i'm doing the m60b 30 yard shots i'm shooting the air arm 18 grain let's see how it goes So that's 10 shots. I'm not sure what happened to that three there. Alright, I'm gonna switch it to the um, JSP 18 grain. This is the uh, JSP 18 grain. So it's open up just as bad as the uh, AR-18 grain. So I think I probably need to play with the rag or the hammer spring, you know, to uh, tighten up the group. Haiti 16 grain at 30 yards.
that's very good. That's Haiti 16 grain at 30 yards. Okay, let's continue. This is the air on 16 grain. Let's see how it goes. And 958 feet per second. That's pretty good. Um, average 958 feet per second with a standard deviation of 2.6 feet per second. The grouping is not as tight as the Hades 16, but uh, let's give it more time. So I'm going to go back to the Hades 16 grain and I'm going to adjust my uh, radical and so I can get it in the bullseye. Hades 16 grain, 30 yards. Not bad. Okay, I'm doing my spinner test. 30 yards. See how many I can hit. The wind is picking up. One inch. Uh. Too much wind. There you go. Two to thirty yards. Spinner test for uh, the Haiti sixteen grain with the M sixty B. So slightly wind left to right. Let's see what happened here. Half inch. Left to the right. Uh. There you go. Half inch. I have to uh, compensate for the wind. Pretty good. Okay. This is 10 yards. My holdover is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, that's confirmed. 15. This should be at 3, roughly. Okay, that's slightly high. Try that one more time. Let's try that 2. That's too low. So, 2.5. Okay, so 2.5 is. Uh, 15. 20 yards. Should be 2. Too high. That's 1. 1 and a half. So 
So one and a half is 20, 25 yards. Should be at one. Don't know what that is. There you go. Could be a flyer earlier. Show one, 25. There you go. 25 is that one. 30 yards. That's my zero. Let's confirm. Okay. 30 yards, zero confirm. Okay, that's uh, 35. Let's see how high I have to go. So low. So I'm guessing half for 35. Yep, 35 is half. I'm at 40 now. I'm guessing one. Nope. Wind is pushing left to right. Wow. It's way out there. Okay, 40 yards spinner test. Wind is pushing left to right. is one. 50 yards. Let's see what happened here. I'm guessing two mil dot. Let's go one first. group one two three Four. 
firm. Six. Seven. Come on, let's do the last one. Still very good. So that's the M60B shooting the Hades 16 grain at 957 feet per second. Excellent. So, what do I think about this gun so far? I think it has great potential. Um, for sure, I'm going to use it for my rat shooting, and uh, so that's why I was. Today I was zeroing it out to 50 yards. That's the maximum range that I want to shoot it. Um, yeah, I, I think it definitely uh, has great potential. The only thing that I find was, compared to the FX Impact, which I have, uh, I know it's not a fair comparison, but because I have the, the Impact, so I know what it high-end quality rifle should be shooting at but this one is not too bad I mean mind you the trigger is not as crisp and nice as the impact but it's pretty good and the other thing that I, I found was kind of uh, not annoying but it's not to my liking is when I take a shot I can hear the hammer spring uh, hitting the valve so it has a little, um, I don't know how you describe the sound, but it is, you can hear it. So I'm thinking maybe next time when I'm out, I might play with the hammer spring just to reduce it a little bit. Check my speed. Obviously by reducing the hammer spring, I might, I'm probably gonna get uh, speed reduced. Um, so basically what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna, I'm not gonna test the reg pressure I think it's set about 140 right now. So I'll play with the hammer spring and see if I can get that harmonic balance. Um, because right now, this setup right now is, to me anyway, I think it's a little bit rough. Um, either the hammer hit it too hard um, or something else. So only way to find out is for me to tweak and play with the hammer spring. I'm gonna reduce it and see if that get the gun quieter and more smoother uh, and then hopefully in doing so I'm not gonna affect um, the accuracy too much if it does then I'll, I'll bring it back up again to the speed that I need uh, currently it's at 957 feet per second so this is my baseline so this is where I'm gonna start I'm gonna tune it up or tune it down um, and then of course uh, I'm gonna try other pellets as well but today only four uh, pellets of two different weight. Next time when I'm out, I might try other um, pellets like the H&N and, and uh, probably gonna try the GSB redesign 25.4 grain. So that pellet generally is very good for most gun. So we'll see how that if, uh, behave in this gun. But um, all in all, I think this gun is pretty good. Uh, for the money especially, I mind you it costs like two and a half times less than my FX Impact Mark II. So definitely um, an affordable um, PCP to get into. And uh, right now I'm just gonna designate it as my rat shooting gun and see how it uh, performed. So I'll keep you posted with videos and, and all that stuff, but all, all in all, this is very nice. Um, it's heavy because of all the stuff that I added to it. I mean, this is my Consumption that I made that's for my FX crony that way I can mount it here like this to take my reading of my uh, pellet speed so this way I'm never gonna miss a, a pellet flight so that everything is lined up exactly where I need it to be so plus the rail enabled me to put in an external uh, 850 nanometer infrared light so which is perfect the built-in light for the PAR is not strong enough 
Um, I like to flood the area so nice and bright that way I can see my, my target and then able to record the video um, with more clarity so but yeah so far like I said this is my first time out with this gun um, just like every gun you gotta find the right pellet and weight so that it will shoot well um, and I think this gun can do better I just have to dig into it deep uh, with the rag pressure and the hammer spring make some adjustment and um, hopefully I can get it really shooting accurately and consistently so maybe down the road I'll be able to put this against my uh, FX impact mark 2 and see um, which one come on top so if, if anything this will come close I don't think it will beat my impact because that is um, tuned and I had a lot of trigger time behind that gun so but we'll see what happened and uh, so stay tuned and thanks for watching catch you on the next one cheers